Welcome to JBX Radio with your host, Stain. Let's get him jiggy. So you're a new artist, correct? Yeah. Okay, what made you get into music? Uh, shit. I like to just express how I feel on the song, and then I got a lot of homies that uh, I was just always around it when they was in the studio. So it kind of just like inspired me and motivated me to try it out. Then I you know just went from there with it. And what type of music do you typically make? Uh, really all like I can. I say I'm an artist. Like I can make pain, love music, or I can make some songs for like the street niggas and shit. So since you're a new artist, you don't have you shot any music videos yet? Yeah, I shot two. You I shot, shot two of them. I shot uh. One more like two weeks ago to this song I got called Cyrite uh, Lifestyle. It's one of my favorite songs. And then I just shot again like two, three days ago to uh, this song called What You Need. So it's going to be on the way. Okay, so Cyrite Lifestyle kind of sound interesting to me. What is it about? It's basically like a little background story of me, like all I've been through. And then like the actual life in Chicago, like how it is. Okay, uh, real quick, shout out your videographers. Who you shooting with? Uh, my boy Buddha, that boss. Uh, that's his Instagram. Uh, so I fuck with this shit. Every hang a lot, and he he fuck with my music. So I'm just locked in with him. You got any singles out? Yeah, I got two audios on my uh, YouTube. Uh, one called Late Nice, and then the other called uh, Quanty Flow. Okay, so those type of uh, two songs, like what type of songs are they? So the Late Nice is kind of like a love song, and then uh, Quanty Flow is kind of like it's just I'm just talking my shit on that. Really, I'm just trying to show my versatility at the early stage. Okay. I'm sure. So, um, any features? Do you have anybody you want to feature with or that you have featured with already? Uh, I got like two, three features. I got one with uh, my homie Nail19. I got one with my uh, homie Jig two times, YFG Gino, and my homie AI. But okay. as far as like upcoming features, uh, I don't really know right now. But it's like I like making music with my homies because it's just the chemistry I already done. Yeah, that's true. That's really important, to be honest. Yeah. What about um, who inspires you to make music? Like, do you have any artists that you look up to specifically? Yeah. Uh, as far as like the pain side, like uh, I ain't gonna lie, I listen to a lot of my homies on release music. So, like uh, my homie Gino, like with his pain music, like I I fuck with it heavy because I that's kind of my like like my main style of music is like the pain love music, and then you got artists like uh like Huncho. I listen to him a lot. When I'm just like in my thoughts, just laid back and shit. And then as far as like the rapping side, got artists like uh, shit, G Herbo, really, my favorite rapper. When when you're in the studio, like, what is your your writing process? Like, how long does it really take you to write a song? Like, how many times do you come to the studio a week? Uh, so my writing process, it really just if I just catch a beat that I like, I just like just put one line, and then after that one line, I just kind of know like what I'm finna do, how I'm finna like. Just put it all together. But it really takes me, like, really probably 15 to 30 minutes to really write a song. And then as far as, like, getting in the studio, I try to, like, two to three times out the week. That's crazy. Um, what else, man? If you had one song to pick out of all your music, it could be unreleased, released, or one song for somebody to listen to, what song would it be? Oh, it'll probably be the one I just made. I ain't gonna lie. Called 20 Questions. It's different. I ain't gonna lie. I 20 ain't... Questions. Do you want to speak a little bit about it or you want to hold on to it a little bit? Uh, I'll speak a little bit on it. Uh, like Tell the thought me. process about that, it was just shit. Like I said, I love making uh, like love songs, pain songs and shit. And then, you know, I just, I just want to try some, let's try something different as far as with the melodic music and send a little music. And then shit. That's really it. Really, I just dropped how I felt, how I feel on all my songs. So, yeah. You got uh, any advice to give to anybody who's starting out with music? Because obviously you're just starting out, but, you know, you're already doing interviews. You're, you're already posting on social media. You're already doing videos. You got any advice? Uh, I just say shit. Just take the criticism and uh, just stay consistent, really. Because cause it's like with this, it's like you got to be able to take the constructive criticism. You got to have people. It's going to be people that don't like your music, that like your music. As long as you like your shit, though, that's good, but it's always room to get better and always more room to progress. And how, how do you really uh, take constructive criticism? Like, do you take that shit to the heart? Nah. Or do you really nah. like, or do you take it, like, as advice? Nah, I take it as advice because, like I said, I, I want to get better. Like, I'm, I mean, I'm, I say I'm, I just found my voice really with my music not too long ago, probably like a month ago, and I've been rapping. Uh, 
for about a year, but I ain't started taking it serious until like last summer. And I was just in here just, you know, trying to find it and find it. And I just finally found it. So I see the, criti- the constructive criticism is what really like brought it out of me. How, how old have you been rapping since? Because uh, you said you just barely found your voice like a month ago. So how long you been rapping for? I say as far I've been rapping for like a year. But as far as like taking it serious, probably six, seven months. Six, seven months. Yeah. Growing up, like you never like freestyled or anything like that, or you really kind of just wasn't really gravitated towards it. Growing up, I was always in the sports. It's so, a sport. yeah. What type of sports do you play? Basketball, football. Basketball and all that. That's not too bad. And then, so recently, you just seen your homies making music. Like they took you to the, your first studio session, or how did that come out? Uh, I used to always it used to be me, Jig, and AI. They was they they've been rapping for like what four five years now. So I'm gonna say like 2020, and uh. Just being around it, it's just like, shit, why not try it? There was just one time, like, we, we used to be at our house just like freestyle, and then I'd just say some raw shit there, like, you need to go on here, like, just try that shit out. So then it was one time, uh, hey, I had a session, and he had told me to hop on this song with him. I hopped on, I wasn't trying, I mean, it was, the verse cool, but it's like, I was just saying some shit, like, it was weak as hell to me, though, <laughs> my part at least, but yeah, then after that, shit, I just start playing around with it. It's not too bad. So, all right, man. So, one more time, man. Where can they find your music at? Uh, you can find it on uh, my YouTube at TYTY. Or if you can't, if you don't pop up, just type in my artist name, Fast Bucks TY, and then uh, it'll pop up on my whole YouTube channel. Or you can just go to the link in my Instagram bio uh, at ty.3x, and it'll be right there for you to just click on. All right, definitely got anything you want to say? Last thoughts? Uh. Just be on the lookout for my uh, my up and coming song, Cyrac Lifestyle, and I'm finna drop. All right, man, let's get it.